one of the most important issues facing us today, but one that will be critical for decades to come, the, the future of pensions and retirement. And uh, I also want to thank uh, the Ontario Federation of Labour and President Sid Ryan for co-sponsoring this forum with the CLC because we desperately need a national debate about protecting and enhancing retirement security. Not only by putting a face on this issue of retirement security and the need for dramatic change, but we convince Canadians and particularly our politicians to not only do what's right, but to do what's urgently necessary. Because without significant improvements in pensions for all Canadians, we face the very real prospect that more and more working people who helped build this country were retiring to poverty and despair. Whether they sweep the streets or put up flagpoles, their contribution is important to our country. And that's not the kind of Canada any of us wants to see, I don't think. You've heard a lot of very well-informed discussion about retirement security, I'm sure. And one thing's clear, whether you're a pensioner worried about your future, or Don, Don Drummond, the chief economist of the TD Bank, or a union leader, we all agree that we face a pension and retirement crisis that must be solved solved soon. Where we disagree is on what the solutions look like. And that's okay too. So let me say this from our perspective, the solution does not lie in promoting more of the same failed policies that got us into this mess. As Bernie said, status quo is not an option. Specifically, we don't need to expand or extend or depend on registered retirement savings plans. They just haven't worked for the purposes they were set up to do. They haven't worked anywhere near what was envisioned when they were set up in 1957. We don't need to tell Canadians that the burden of savings for their retirement is increasingly an individual responsibility. They know that. The program hasn't worked. Putting our money in the market hasn't done what they promised the market would do. Their so-called so solutions, frankly, are in fact the problem. What we do need are real solutions and that, uh, that actually work for all Canadians. So first, we need a Canada pension plan that can really provide a living pension for all Canadians. At least a floor from which every Canadian can stand on that puts their noses above the poverty line. That's why the CLC wants the Canada pension plan benefit double to a maximum of $1,635 a month. Now, do what else it does? It gives us a DB, defined benefit pension plan, and it gives our employers a defined contribution pension plan. That sounds to me like the best of both worlds. We get the security of the benefit, and all an employer has to do, again, like Catherine said, is write a check and not worry about the administration of pension plan. Businesses aren't in the business of running pension plans. They should be allowed to run their business, and we have expertise and efficiencies and economies of scale that will run the pension plan for them and deliver a defined benefit for everyone in this country. How can you not live with the best of both worlds, finally? After a seven-year phase-in period, those nearing retirement will see a benefit improvement. But the biggest bang for the buck will be for today's, today's young workers. Second, we need an immediate 15% increase in the guaranteed income supplement benefit to lift today's seniors out of poverty. Those $1.6 million that are eking out, as Bernard said, a $15,000 a year income can't survive. It's not fair. And it won't cost that much money. And third, we need pension plan insurance that Keith might disagree with to protect every worker's pension income so they can also retire with some security and some dignity. But it ain't going to work for pensioners, and it ain't going to work for Medicare if we do nothing. The obvious solution we say to retirement security is simple. Just simply double that CPP benefit so that all workers, union and non-union, can retire with security. Tens of thousands of other Canadians have seen their pensions drastically reduce their benefits because of the economic meltdown caused by incompetence and lack of government regulation. It's why we say we need federal pension insurance so people like that can live with the guarantee, can live on the guarantee they thought they had on their pension plan. We insure our lives, we insure our homes, we insure our vehicles, our jobs, our bank accounts, but we don't insure our pensions. That doesn't make any sense to me, and we think it must change. So the time for the plan of, of a primary security is now. We have an opportunity, Keith said and, and Bernard said, this is our time. This is our movement's time to make the most sweeping and positive changes Canada has seen since Tommy Douglas 
introduced Medicare and Saskatchewan in the 1960s. We are on the cusp of change. Politicians know they're going to have to change. We know they must change. And with your support and with people like you in this room talking to others, we will get the change we want. Thank you.